Hi, welcome back to our new video. Um, so in this video, we're going to explore a bit of why agroforestry. So why use agroforestry? Why work with agroforestry? What's the point? Where does it come from? Basically, here's the thing. The forest, many, many times when, when we think of forest, we think of that um, place with lots of big, huge trees, 100 meter tall trees with very large trunks. And that's the image we have. It's a static image. But we come to bring a new concept that the, pros the forest is a process. It's not a thing. It's not static. It's not a, a status. It's a process. It's a cycle. It's always in motion. And that's what we work with in agroforestry. Because the forest has a very long life cycle which goes through various stages. And there are many plants that we don't really think of them as coming from the forest, but they do. Most of our annual crops, most of our, our grasses like corn, it comes from the forest, but from a very specific stage of the forest life cycle, which is from the beginning, from a clearing in the forest, from when it restarts its growth cycle, from when a, a, a big tree falls and open a huge clearing allowing sunlight to come in. That's when the party happens. So the party in the forest happens when a tree falls. And we take that moment as the moment of biggest richness in the forest. That's the moment where there's more life available, more resources available. It's the moment where life is most abundant in the forest and that's why we're going to try to bring that into our systems most of the foods of the foods we eat come from that point from that moment of the forest so that's why we bring that you know what and, do you think of that and, yeah and, and taking taking a bit from that where we're talking about where the tree falls you know when that tree is is saying goodbye you know maybe it was a lightning and and when that falls on and and that wood and that creates that soil and that, that when he, as Felipe said the party with all the microorganisms and the fungus in the wood so basically here what we're doing is replicating what how the forest behaves you know exactly. we, we work a lot with pruning and this is for me one of the most impacting things one of the most just makes it seem so obvious why we want to work with agroforestry because we're generating the resources within. This is so key. This is so beneficial, so much, uh, so prosperous, where we're able to produce the wood and prune it and layer it on the ground. Basically, we, we're replicating what happens, but maybe we're accelerating it. Maybe, you know, just made up figures here, but maybe something that would have taken 70 years, we'll do it in 10 because you know we're able to accelerate we provoke it we provoke you know stimulus we're stimulating opening the sun letting the sun come back in and then all the hormones exactly thing, growing again and it, it's important to note that um agriculture has basically developed throughout history as a always in relation to the forest because basic agriculture was always um, take down forest and plant. Cut down forest and plant. So ag agriculture developed like this. But nowadays there, there, there's no more forest. And if you ask farmers, old farmers, they're going to say that the best production fields they had was after a newly cut forest. I've asked dozens of farmers if that's true, and all of them said there's no production field like the one from a newly cut forest. And that's true because when you cut down a forest, there's so much life and so much resource available. And we want to replicate that. That stimulation. Exactly. So we plant trees to prune them. And we, we mimic 
that moment of the clearing by pruning instead of taking them down and burning them. We just prune them and we create a clearing inside of our system. This creates the possibility of constant production while maintaining a, a, a live root system, robust root system in the soil from the forest and it allows us to grow anything we want in between. So that's the base, the, the, the very basic, most fundamental idea of agroforestry, of why working with agroforestry, because it's the forest that creates life. It's the most um, updated, it, it, it's the most technological system there is to, to actually um, capture sunlight and turn it into food. So let's use that. And, uh, and we're talking about food with nutritious value, you know, because we're talking about uh, information in the soil. We, we call it like uh, an agriculture with information, where we, through the pruning, through the biodiversity, we're able to give it more information to that soil. It's like, this is how we call it, you know, all the structure, you know, everything that's contributed to create that soil. And with such an with such a large variety of matter, we're able to have richer produce, completely, a more complete, uh, nutritionally, you know, th that food with, with, with a bigger, a wider spectrum of nutrition. Exactly. As, as a fact. Exactly. And it's really important to understand that we as human beings, as a species, we have to consider ourselves part of this process that we call forest. We're part of it. We're not something from outside. That's really important because we have a tendency to put ourselves as something distinct from nature. There's nature and there's human being. There's no such thing. There's nature and human beings is inside here. It's just one more. It's one other species. Just like the banana tree, just like the panther just like the lion it's just another species and we have to put ourselves inside the system and understand how can I work in order to make this place better it's that basic notion when you go to a place make it better than it was when you arrived that's what we want to do with our eco ecosystem we want to make it better and how do we do that we do that by planting forests really there's, there's no problem Cutting down a tree, it's no problem. I have nothing against cutting down trees. The problem is not to plant another one. We have to constantly be planting trees so that we can prune them or take them down because that process enriches the soil. That's the very basic notion. So as human beings, we've really got to step down from this platform where we believe we're the most intelligent in the planet. You know, the rules of nature, the rules of the forest, they already exist. That's already been written. We cannot change that. And it's ever so intelligent, the rules. You know, every being, every single plant or creature is equipped, is equipped to interact and leave a positive note, to come in and fill its purpose and leave a positive result energetically within our ecosystem. We're the only, we're the only plague here. We're really trying to reinvent the system and agroforestry, you know, it's a way where we can produce food using the laws of nature. So what it is, is that we've been observing the laws and applying those principles. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So basically, um, agroforestry is getting the rules which already exist in nature which are the rules for enhancing life for increasing life because life has been forever increasing since it's the beginning it has been forever growing into more complex forms and more abundance so by applying those rules to our system we achieve the same results we increase life, we increase abundance in the system. And we create more soil, we create life, we create um, 
better conditions in every way for every being. We fulfill our duty as part of the system to make the system better. That's what we want. That's the, the, the very basic. So agroforestry is a tool. It's actually using food production as a tool to recover and in, increase the quality of ecosystems. So that, that's why we work with agroforestry. Let's do it. A Let's very do it. basic notion. We're going to go through that a lot more, many other times. We're going to hear a lot more about that. But that's it. Let's, let, let's do it. Let's get started. Let's do it um, in your homes. So let's do it in your workplace. Let's do it exactly. in your garden. Let's Everywhere. do it in the schools of your kids. Let's do it in your mother's in laws, your mother in law's garden. Let's yeah, do let's, it in the building. Let's, let's increase let's the quality of the life everywhere. That, that, that's all we want with agroforestry. So we hope you, you enjoyed this video, this first uh, module. And we're waiting for you in the webinar in the end of this week. And make sure you bring lots of questions. We're, we're really eager to have lots of questions because we really want to make this interaction to cover any, any aspect, any idea that we haven't covered here during the video. We really want to get, to, to get this feedback from you. It's really important for us and for our learning as a whole. Yeah, it's a way of us understanding what are your needs. Exactly. So that's it. We wait for you in the webinar and in the next week we're going to be releasing the next module. So that's it. Catch you all later and have a great week. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs>